Hey everyone, it's Rob, uh, 26 Bond, with another video today. Um, this is quite possibly uh, one of the most controversial releases um, by Maiden, Iron Maiden. Uh, I'm talking about the Picture Disc Collection box set. Um, now I was very lucky to manage to get hold of one of these um, boxes to store them all in. Um, they're very controversial these pitch discs. This is a video basically showing you them. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about the sound quality. There's been a lot of complaints about these picture discs uh, for sound quality and you know I can understand that certainly. Um, these generally cost around about £20 or $27, $30 a piece, maybe $35 a piece. Um, so they aren't particularly cheap. Uh, a lot of people have, have, have been saying that um, I'm buying these to play and they don't sound very good. Why do Maiden not release black vinyl reissues of their 80s records or their entire back catalogue? And I agree with that. Maiden should release 180 gram uh, black vinyl or even coloured vinyl. Um, but picture discs by their nature, as we all know, do not have the same sound quality as a regular black pressing vinyl or even a, a coloured, solid coloured vinyl, vinyl pressing. So these have been very controversial. Um, so the sound quality from the get-go, if you're buying these to play, you've got to be prepared that the sound isn't going to be as good as an old black vinyl. And my opinion was, people that were buying these, maybe newer fans that didn't have the old stuff on vinyl, really should have stuck to maybe eBay to get some of the older first, second or third press reissued stuff on black vinyl to play instead of these. Um, because these are more of a collector's piece. Um, they're okay to listen to, but with picture discs, because they are basically uh, bits of vinyl compressed onto a paper picture, you are going to get, because the groove isn't as deep, you're going to get surface noise, and the actual audio playback isn't going to be as good. So they've been a very controversial release for that. But they did produce this lovely box, um, which sadly they didn't really make enough of. I mean, there's all sorts of stories about how many of these boxes were made. I think it's more likely to be around about 2,000 in the world. Now there's various companies such as EMP Online, which let a lot of Maiden fans down. You could order the whole set, including the box. And I know a lot of, lot of people, a lot of Maiden fans were very, very let down by them. They received emails saying that they couldn't fulfill the order. Uh, I got this from Watt Records in the UK, which are, you know tend to be a little bit more expensive, but these were the first guys that offered the box, so I basically pre-ordered the whole set of picture discs. So that's enough about what people are saying, what, what people don't like about the records. This, my opinion is, they are what they are, they're more of a collector's piece. So I've shown these first two picture discs in another video. I'll just show these two again. Now the sound on this one is actually very good. It's very bright and it's very punchy. Of course, when you first put the needle down, you are gonna get a little bit of a whooshing sound like moving air. And that is exactly what I've uh, been talking about. So it's got a nice inner sleeve. The UK pressings of these, you can get American ones and you can get Japanese. The Japanese ones came with the original Japanese colored obis and have the insert sheets as well, which are really, really nice. Uh, this is the UK one, so it has like a sort of mock obi. Uh, the US ones have a sticker, and I don't think they're quite as nice, those ones. But design-wise for the picture discs, very, very nice, good quality. Um, on some of the, the releases, which I'll show you a bit later, there's been some errors in showing photos which aren't error-specific. For example, Seventh Son has a Somewhere in Time error picture. Live After Death has a Peace of Mind era picture. Um, it's a small thing, but collectors and Maiden fans are a bit nitpickety and a bit anal about these things. So, you know, bit of a drop ball on that one, bit of a bit of a quality control problem. The sleeves on these are great, particularly the first two. Um, killers, a lot of people say this one doesn't sound as good. Um, to, to my ears, it sounds 
okay it's a picture disc so that's the back cover there once again it's got a rather nice inner sleeve with the OB showing all the different uh, records that were, that were going to come in the series nice picture of Maiden in Japan you've got the lyrics on that side as well and you have a reproduction of the Twilight Zone cover there and Eddie or is it the devil from Purgatory so in terms of the actual manufacturing of these picture discs the, the colours on them are great the covers on, of, of the albums are great as well uh, very very heavy uh, some people have said about Summer in Time and Seventh Sun not being quite as sharp as the original ones and, and I, I think that's probably a fair comment I think as you've gone on in the series the quality may not have been as good as, as the first two and I'm not talking in audio playback um, this one's a very good one for example uh, it's got a very nice a uh, very nice crisp cover to it with the intended sort of more of a grey sort of cover it's got the variation back cover which is a slightly different posed photo of the group now this one's the same as the one that they used on the EMI 100 centenary edition vinyls which they released about 10 years ago and a nice inner sleeve for that one there that's a photograph taken from the Japanese tour program, front cover, lyrics. So they're all pretty much follow the same pattern. They got the inner sleeves with a similar sort of design. There you go. So that one's a very nice one. I was very impressed with Beast. I thought that sounded pretty good, to be fair to my ears. But like I keep saying to you guys, these are never going to beat the original or even the reissue pressings if they're on black vinyl. This is peace of mind. Now this is where the artwork begins to get a little bit blurred in my opinion. Now bear in mind what I'm saying here, a lot of people won't agree with and some people will. It's just my opinion, but the back cover, it's got, it's got a very turquoise font, which isn't the same color. It's just a little bit blurred, which is a shame. A lot of people have got complaints about peace of mind as well, uh, in terms of the sound quality. It's nice, now this is where they started to do like montage photos. Uh, for the inner sleeve which is a nice one this one now, all of the photos here are era specific so they are all correct on this album and that's a nice outtake there uh, from the front cover sessions there we go that's the lyrics then you have the Icarus single it's lovely and uh, this is lovely the actual picture discs here are super look at that they are quite stunning and they're very heavy as well they're, they're 180 gram um, picture discs. Um, Maiden made a real big thing about saying that these were sort of, uh, what does it say? One of eight limited edition heavyweight vinyl picture discs cut from original vinyl production masters in a deluxe gatefold sleeve. Um, yeah, I can see why they would have wanted to use the, the, uh, the, the masters from the original uh, sessions but you're not going to get the same playback on picture discs. So a lot of people have said it's a bit of a wasted opportunity. Power Slave, this is a great cover. Now, this is a real, real good one. Um, very, very sharp colorings on this one. Some might say it's got a slightly more orangier cover, but if you look at various pressings from all around the world, actually from the eighties, you do have variations in colors. That's a pretty good one. I don't believe there's any errors uh, in this one of the photographs. No, these are all fine. These are all fine. So it was really the next couple. Nice outtake there. There you go. Same design as the original. And we've got Aces High for this one. And two minutes to midnight. <clears throat> Let's pop that one away. So the next one is Live After Death, and this is where the error on the pictures crept in. Um, cover, very, very nice. This is the most expensive one because it's a double vinyl. There you go. Slight variation on the back. They've put the track listing down there as opposed to it along the top. So that's a difference. Uh, where was it now? The actual error is not here. The inner gatefold is absolutely fine. Now, a lot of people, and I didn't understand their point here, a lot of people were saying, does it have the original booklet and is it identical on the gatefold and the inner sleeves? 
And when I said that it wasn't, they were very disappointed and got a bit uppity about it. And I was thinking, well, you know, this is, this is you know, it's the same album, but this is a reissue. So, you know, you've got to give Maiden a bit of carte blanche for doing something different. If you want the original pressing, you own it. This is this is almost like a, a sort of re, redone version. That's essentially what it is. It has the similar info from the um, booklet, but it doesn't have the exact same pictures. There you go. Now, that was going to be the original cover to the album. That was Derek Riggs' first attempt. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit flatter, that one. It's not quite as 3D looking. So I think Maiden did well going with the um, second attempt. So that inner, inner gatefold, uh, sorry, that, that inner bag there is absolutely fine. The error is on this one. Now, so what error is that of Maiden? Well, you can always tell by looking usually at Adrian Smith or has Steve got his tattoos? And if he hasn't, it's uh, prior to Peace of Mind. This is the Peace of Mind tour. Um, so why couldn't they have got a photograph from 84 or 85? There's some more info which was on the booklet. Obviously, there's no need for lyrics on this one because it's a live album. That's an awesome, look at that. What a fabulous picture. And that one there, which was the tour programme um, cover. So there you go. So it's just it's just small things about photographs, which a lot, lot of collectors think is a bit peculiar. Um, and I think they're quite right in saying that, really. The next one, Somewhere in Time. Yeah, the cover's again a little bit blurred on this one. Excuse me. You have the variation again with the song titles going down as opposed to across. And now, is there an error? Yeah, there's an error in here as well. This photo, whoa, it was tricky doing this. Where am I going? This photo here is actually from the seventh tour of a seventh tour. So it's just things like that which could and should have been caught. And it's it's a bit lazy from the art the art department, design department at EMI really. Uh, there's an outtake from the Blade Runner Cars, little bitty bob. Lyrics again. Now there is a bit of a fault on this one actually. Uh, my pal Andrew McIver um, noticed it. If you listen to Alexander the Great, the intro is a very moody, quiet, atmospheric intro on, on and on his pressing and my pressing there is a lot of wobbling on the audio as much he said it made himself feel a bit, a bit seasick and he's quite right in saying that um, it's not been done properly if you listen to it it's the start with the guitar figure do, 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 that bit there it's if you listen to the background it's going like that and it's just not been mastered properly um, so check that out is that a problem with all the copies or just a few be interesting to find out I imagine it's all of them uh, the last one probably the worst cover this is seventh son of a seventh son uh, pretty blurry pretty blurry um, is there an error on here this is the inner sleeve no, I don't think there's an error with those pictures they're all fine so as you can see the last the last few in the series they've had sort of montage pictures oh uh, there is an error in this one I've just found it that background shot there that is 86 87 summer in time tour uh, outtake from a photo session in New York so once again why choose something which isn't from the album? I mean, there's lots lots of photos from this era. Don't really get it, but there you go. There you go. Picture discs. The picture discs, the actual look and feel of them, very consistent. Just a few niggles overall with some of the pressing quality. The audio quality, obviously, is not as good as you will get with a black vinyl pressing. A lot of people have decided to just frame these um, but no then they're, they're not terrible enough that you can't listen to them but if you're very used to black vinyl I'd stick with that but as a collectible um, it promises particularly if you have the box it certainly promises to be uh, a valuable investment I know there are some on eBay going now for 400 pounds these boxes on their own you can probably get rid of between 100 and 175 pounds 
Um, so it's something to keep. So I hope that's uh, that's shown you. If anyone's thinking of buying all, all the picture discs, um, I've given you sort of like a a, um, a sort of non-biased account of things. I certainly don't see everything that Maiden does um, with rose-tinted specs. Some of the things they do, I agree with. Some of the things they they do, I don't agree with. And I certainly think we should be getting 180 gram coloured vinyl or black vinyl reissues as well and I tend to be of the, of the impression that that will happen but probably when the band don't exist as a going concern sadly. Um, I think Maiden are going to be one of those bands where there's going to be a lot of archive releases after they've gone which it looks like will be within the next five years from what Steve Harris has been saying but we shall see we shall see things change but you know sadly the guys aren't getting any any younger um, but there you go, picture discs, they are what they are. Hope, hope, hope you've enjoyed the uh, the video. Uh, any questions, any comments, please leave below. What, what do you think about them? Post a video response to this. You're very, very welcome to do that down below in the comments section. And I'll see you all soon. Cheers.